We're going to introduce Tim as well to these games now. Woo! He's been sitting quietly in the corner, but I think it's about time he played some games. And we're going to play a game called Know Thy Neighbour. <laughs> oh, no. Now, if you've all been paying attention to the radio shows, you should be able to do various... Rob, sound the horn. <laughs> it's Know Thy Neighbour. Neighbor. Various <laughs> knowledge about each and every person that is in this room. We're going to start with a round on Emily, oh. and you are all going to buzz in. If you know the answer, you tell me. If you think you can think of a comical answer, you can uh. tell me. If not, it goes to Emily, and if she doesn't know an answer about herself, then she gets a point knocked off. All right. It's tense. Can we all go through our buzzers again? Oh, God. You shall not pass. Hi, everyone. What the? Ah. Uh. Nyaaah! And Tim? Mayday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't explain what he's dressed as. It hardly yes. matters. Go on, Tim. <laughs> I'm dressed as Airman. All right. I think someone messaged in saying they wanted us to pose in front of the webcam. So we'll, during the next one, we can do so. We'll do that in the next break. All right. Emily, question one. What is Emily holding in the Easter special photo? <gasps> yeah. Dan. She's got one of the little chicks. Yes. Congratulations. Well done, Dan. Actually, that's... In your little nest. Oh yes! Oh what? Another point to that person if they get that. Yeah. The chocolates that she won. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, yes. Dan. Oh, times two. <laughs> Question two: Which team was Emily in initially on the Easter special? Uh -huh. Oh God. With Tim? No, sorry, oh. Ben. Curses. Anyone? No, I, I remember it was. I was in the second half because I saw the fear in her eyes as she walked over to my microphone. Right, Emily. I'm a bit hurt Dan doesn't remember because we were bunnies. <laughs> yes, well done. All right. <laughs> Sorry, no one got that. In the Christmas special game Flip Flop, what did Emily argue? <laughs> oh, God. Ben? <laughs> oh, I know. This is at the core of my mind. It goes out to everyone else. Oh. Yeah. Dan? Is it that Christmas is the greatest holiday? No. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh wait, I've got to remember. I 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 remember. Stop, everyone. Ben? Was it... That Becky was a better presenter than Mike. Yes, well done. Oh, I came. Uh, <laughs> uh. And question four: In the summer optimism special, which author did Emily portray in? Uh, Stephanie Meyer. Yes, well done. <laughs> All right, we move on to round two. Rob. Move away from the. <clears> oh, I better, I better stand over here. All right, in the Saint Valentine special, in Blind Date, Emily played Sam, Tari played Cupid. What was Rob? I won. Emily. He was a guide dog. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you not remember that? Which show did Rob half host? Hi, everyone. The Fat Kitten Special. Oh, God, no. Hang on. Special. I'll give it a point to you both. Oh. 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 Who was the Fat Kitten Special? It... There was only one kitten there. Point to them both. To be fair, I think I gave Ben the answer by that one. In Come the on. Fat Kitten Show, oh. which was also the Hangover Special, what was Rob's buzzer? Rob. Hi, everyone. Rob. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, Emily, I'll give you that. <laughs> Name three places Rob has visited in the USA. Uh, what? I think that was just waistcoat. Uh, New York, Chicago, Texas. They're all right by you? Well, I went to two places in Texas, so... I went to two places in Texas. So yeah! I'd, I'd need them to specify. <laughs> and you specify waistcoat. Austin? I didn't go to Austin yet. Yes, hey. well done. Points. And round three, Mike Carling. Ah. Question one. In which films did Mike choose for reduction? Hi, ah. everyone! Dan. All three of the Star Wars originals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. In the Find the Truth special photo, what is Mike holding? Oh, God! Yeah, ah. everyone! Ben Hollands. A sign that says, I am so sorry. Yes, well done. In the Impressions show, Mike introduces movie trailers with his... Oh, God! Hi, <laughs> Emily. <gasps> Chewbacca. Yes. <laughs> Preempting the question. In Breath Hosts, who was Mike portraying in Celebrity Blind Date? Hi, everyone. Emily. Adam Putin. Yes, congratulations. So we're going to have a bit of a break there, play a song, and we'll be back soon. So we're going to start with the second half of the game, Know Thy Neighbour. All here, we've all still got our buzzers, and we're going to start off with Dan. Right, question one. Can you repeat Dan's Alan Rickman impression? Hi, everyone. Mayday. Yes. Oh, no, you shall not pass. 
everything if I talk more slow. I'm going to give the point to Emily, I think, because she jumped in first. Question two. In which episode did Dan invent the word cavicle? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Was that the Wales versus Ireland? It was special? indeed. Well done, Emily. In the Easter special, Dan forgot an intro halfway through. What was he meant to be singing? Hi, everyone. Emily. The LMFAO sexy on Anna. Well done. Oh, Emily's clearing the floor with you guys. Question four. What is Dan's alternate way of describing Watership Down? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Is it, ben. Is it, oh dear god, the horror? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, to Ben there. Waistcoats round. Ooh. Waistcoats swore in one fateful episode, but <laughs> which game was he playing? Mate, oh, hi, everyone. Tim. Was it simply six seconds? No, hi, no what the? What the? Uh, Mike. It was a uh, two headed debate. Well done, yep. Do you need us to say what the swear was? Or? No. <laughs> <laughs> in the game Tour Guide, which town did we visit? Oh, god. Ben. Salami Berg. Yes. <clears throat> what did he claim in the Danger Edition that Tim's bike actually is? Ooh. Ooh. We're all stumped. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Does it pass over to Waistcoat? You shall not pass. Was it a submarine? No. no. Waistcoat? I have not got the foggiest idea. You said that Tim's bike was actually an Australian dwarf <laughs> that he'd taken into slavery. Oh, cool. His name is Michael. <laughs> Which song did Waistcoat turn into a poem in oh, music? Oh no, I know his. I know it's Hi, Skeet Skeet Blasphemy, but I can't. Emily, get low. Bye. Ah. Get low uh, by Lil John and Get low um, by Lil John oh, no, and the Yin Yang no, Twins. I'll, that. I'll give you the point, but I don't like that. <laughs> like a, like a fraction of a point. And a fraction of a point for Mike. I don't know why, but okay. A sixteenth of a point. <laughs> right, Ben Hollands. In the impression show, Ben describes a microwave as who. Oh no, no! I was in this one. I should know it. What the? Hi everyone, Mike. Was it me, Jesus? No. Oh, well, it's a stab in the dark. <laughs> Emily. Was it? Was it Prince Charles? No. We're Dang. gonna pass over to Ben. It was Elvis Presley. Yes. Oh, yes. Well and done, it Ben. And memorable. Oh, I remember. I was the host <laughs> of that one. <laughs> I, I gave him that, that suggestion. Didn't I? Question two. In the same show, Ben replaces James Bond with whose voice? Hi everyone, Emily. Turn it. Easy. Yeah. Easy. No, I'm just yeah. I'm just quite good. Which song did Ben make Sam Dodge and Friendly in Musical Madness? Hi everyone. The government totally sucks by Tenacious D. Well done. And how long was the record set by Ben in Simply no, 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 no. You shall not pass. Um Dan. Was it thirty one seconds? You shall not pass! What? It Rob. was 42 seconds. 42 seconds. And for a bonus point, who stabbed me in the back when I would have gone for the hundred? Mayday. Hi, everyone. Tim. Uh, Emily did that. Yes, well done. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. She did that. All right, Tim. Who did Tim describe as the devil in human skin? Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Rob. Devil in human skin. Was that Mike? Yes. Mayday. Oh. Yeah, it was. It was me. Yeah. I remember it. It still hurts. <laughs> On the radio review show. Yes. In the Tim Hosts photo, what is Tim wearing? Oh, God. Ben. A beautiful red waistcoat. No, 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 it's not. Uh, on, it's a black waistcoat with red brocade, oh, I think. Oh, oh. You shall not pass. It's, it's a black waistcoat well, with a red brocade. That's not what I've got written here. Well, that's what I was wearing, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you have a look, it says horrendous waistcoat. Oh. <laughs> oh. I uh, say, excuse uh, me, there is no oh, such thing that's as a horrendous uh, that's waistcoat. That's a point for me. Isn't Tim presenting next? Yeah. yeah, but that's a point for me. Oh, okay. All right. In Tim's host, how did the show end? Yeah. Damn. Badly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Badly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I want to answer this one. You and Will very wisely led a rebellion against Tim in which you refused to speak. <laughs> yes. Professionalism is what I call that. <laughs> Love you, Tim. And what was Tim's topic in Find the Truth? You shall have pass. Rob. Was. Hi everyone, hi everyone. It hi everyone. was. I know it. There was, there was, we had Essex. Silvio the Berlusconi. Oh yeah. It was Silver Tongue Silvio. It was Silvio Berlusconi. <laughs> yes, well done, Rob. Hi. Still, sti still evading justice. Come on, keep going, <laughs> keep going, Silvio. He's evading everything. <laughs> right, me. I've only got three, it's okay. When describing a date in St. Valentine's special, what word could I not pronounce? Hi everyone. Emily. <laughs> yes, still card. When uh, insulting Tim's hair, in one of the episodes, I quickly changed the name to a friend of mine called Who. Mayday. 
Tim? Was it Tom? No. Oh. Hi, everyone. Emily? It was it the ever fabulous Jim? Oh, yeah. It was Jim, indeed, it was. And name two people I think I can do an impression of. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Emily? Woody Allen? Yes. And, oh, God. Uh, yeah. Bowie. Um, Dave, David Bowie. Well David, done. David Bowie. Bowie. What happened to Alan Bennett? Specifically, David Bowie's singing. <laughs> yes. Can you Becky. say anything else in your impression other than David Bowie? No. <laughs> I can say his name and that's about all. We've got Jake. one more round. It's on <clears throat> Sam. Ooh. Everyone in. How many heart attacks have we caused, Sam? In the St. Valentine's special, Tim hadn't heard of one artist and said, Where have they got to now? And Sam said, Mayday. Blank. Oh, sorry. Are we you shall not pass. Got everything they deserved. M Tim. Ma Ma Maroon 5. You yeah. shall not pass. Oh. Mika. Yes, well oh. done, Rob. In the movie, <laughs> in the movie special, when I asked Sam for a suggestion, what was his yeah. spot? Yeah, Dan. Films. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> in the movie special, what football game is Sam Hi, watching? Everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Emily. Tottenham versus Arsenal. Yes, it was. <laughs> Slandered Sam, saying a monkey could push buttons. Hi everyone. <laughs> Emily. That was Mr. Tom Redgate. Yes, it was. Oh. <laughs> Sam claims one of his lecturers looks like which Ooh. Muppet? Oh God! Professor <laughs> Doctor, no, Professor uh, Doctor Bunsen Honeydew. Yes, well done. I'll oh, trust oh, the one question you get question. to be on the Muppet. Come on. Name three people Sam has turned his mic down on. Mayday. Yeah. Yeah. Tim. Uh, me. Uh, you. Uh, and Mike. I don't think he ever turned it down on Can me. Yes, he did. Hi, I was there. Well, he turned oh. it off on the whole show. <laughs> yes, I yes, seem to remember. Hi, everyone. Yes, that's a point for Tim and for Emily for being able to remember Rob as well. Yeah. In the show Tim hosts, what special does Sam attempt to change it Hi, to? Mayday. Emily. <laughs> you right there, Holland. Mayday, it's the breakfast special. Is it the breakfast special? Guys? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just causing Ben to have a bit of a break. And there. our final question. In Musical Madness, when I said to Sam, when you think of music, oh God, you, you shall not pass. Ben. <laughs> yes, that was his that was his first suggestion for us. Right. Rob, you had some interesting I've, facts I've, you want to I've end up this listened, bit with. I listened to all of the shows in like a marathon form, in some sort of solipsistic <laughs> trance. <laughs> and uh, I came up with a few statistics. Ooh, for example, there is a public apology. Every two out of three shows. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and the other operators have been awarded a total of 35 points <laughs> over 21 shows, which makes them better than Mike on <laughs> most, most shows. Oh, dear. Because you always take points away from him. On the subject of you taking points away, you also awarded yourself 13 points. <laughs> uh, the audience have had four, and Tim appears in... Most shows. There yes, I do. Go. Yes, I do. So About I fifty-five. Show, fifty-five percent of shows have Tim in them. So I think before we have a, a song break, we're going to give Sam his uh, present for putting up with us. Yeah. Yep. Uh, before that, we have a, a quick. Um, well, this is for Mr. Hollands. It's a. It's a certificate for the best simply sixty oh. seconds record. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you are. Well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> I will not be silenced. I will still hold this grudge and Sam, forever. And we got you these. Oh, wow. We got you a massive card and a stress ball. And <laughs> it's in the shape of a red bus. Yes, so let's it's have a, a song. London bus. And then afterwards, we'll be playing the game The Big Bonanza. Hey. So we're back for our almost last one. Rob. <laughs> Penultimate. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm just going to run through the scores before we start the game, The Big Bonanza. Sam has one. I have two. Waistcoat has one. Tim has three. Rob has seven. Dan has three. Emily has 14. <laughs> <laughs> Would ben. you like the Jelly Babies now? <laughs> ben has nine. Oh. And Nick Carling has six. Oh, dear. So there's five between me and Ben. That's mid-table. Okay. I can deal with that. <laughs>